Hello guys, Jesse here, and welcome to my closet. Good news everyone! Scientists have recently found the molecule in neurons, a protein known as PIEO2, that is responsible for tactile defensiveness. Now, this protein, or as I like to call it, uh, PIEs O2, is responsible for differentiating between the um, things that are supposed to be painful and things that are not painful. It mainly is what is used to interpret vibration, gentle touch, and uh, light stroking. So, this is pretty much the description of allodynia is anything to do with a exaggerated pain response to something that is not supposed to be painful. Anyway, scientists discovered this protein, and this was all about, I think, seven years back. But recently, upon further testing, they found that when, um, when this protein was observed in mice, and the mice were injected with capsaicin, which is known as the spicy stuff in peppers and whatnot, that the spice, well, the spices would cause a reaction in the mice, and the mice would gnaw at it and lick it as if it was pain. And, well, because mice actually interpret pain on a similar level that humans do, um, they decided, okay, what happens if we block this PIEZO2 um, protein? and see if it uh, mitigates or lessens their pain response. And lo and behold, when the protein was blocked, the mice demonstrated no strong um, reaction to the capsaicin and the uh, pepper injections and applied topically. So what that means, and, and just to clarify, the rest of their... Um, their uh, skin issues or their uh, the rest of their sensory information um, was intact. It was only this, um, the allodynia-like response that was blocked. And that's good news because that means they can, it can help people too. In fact, the scientists, they brought on people who had a, um, who had a mutation that kept them from developing the uh, PIZO2 gene. So it meant that they were under-responsive, and they did some tests on them. And what they discovered is the people that did not have this gene actually under response or didn't even respond to the topical capsaicin cream or injections. And that actually shows that when it comes to people too, not just the mice, that if you do not have the PIEZO2 um, -E gene, then that means that it could lessen or reduce or completely eradicate the allodynia. That's amazing, because that means that people with sensory processing disorder, tactile defensiveness, um, osteoporosis, people undergoing chemical th um, um, chemotherapy, and people who, let's say, have Lyme disease, um, this can greatly help them and lessen their discomfort in life. I myself have allodynia, so I'm very excited to hear about this. So it seems that the scientists are making a lot of progress in a very short amount of time. The last article I read on was in October of 2018. So guys, this could be it. Hopefully so. It may not let's say, completely in the get-go, just eradicate all the pain. But what I'm saying is, is that if they turn this into an opioid cream or a beta blocker or something that blocks these end caps on these neurons that um, distinguish between painful and non-painful stimuli, they already did it in the mice. There are people that are already naturally like this that don't have this gene or this um, molecule in the, their neurons. So all we have to do is replicate that. We already know it can be done, and we already know that nature has found a way to do it itself. If we learn to lessen the pain and the discomfort that all these people have, it could be a huge turning point for us. 
So guys, keep your fingers crossed, keep your toes crossed, and let's see what happens. Take care, y'all.